can we just admire for a moment how cute this little coffee pot is? Yes. Okay, you can go ahead and say it. My life is sad. But this coffee pot is life here. Yeah. Well, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, another full day of eating and kind of follow me throughout the day. I got the coffee going. Um, can we take a moment to just admire the new coffee pot? Oh my God, I love it. Little K-cups and it also has a little basket. You can just use regular ground coffee for a single serving and the big pot if you need it. Yes. So my plans for today, I do need to cook. We have some outings. So I'm gonna suck down my coffee. We're gonna go to Costco and Guess what? A Sprouts has opened in Washington and it's not far from me. We're gonna go to Sprouts too. So we got a full day, we gotta cook, we gotta shop. I'm sucking down coffee and um, I'll pick this back up with Costco. Okay, this is gonna be my really quick Costco haul right here. So I have some eggs and here I have some ground beef, um, some vitamins. I have some probiotics, butter. Here's some peanut butter and some olives. So, excuse me, some olives. So yeah, this was a very small haul. Um, and so we're going to head home and start trying to cook and pull some food together. Okay, so I am back from Costco and I am ready to eat. So what I have here is a pound of ground bison. I've cut up some bacon. I have a little bit of bacon left. So I'm going to mix the cut up bacon in with this with all my little spices and seasonings and make some burgers. And I am going to be back with you guys since I am ready to eat right now. Okay, so here we go. These are the burgers. I call them my 50-50 burgers, but I don't think I've put much bacon as I in these that I have in the past with the other ones. But it's still going to be delicious. And I'm going to be getting ready to eat my first meal, which will be one of the burgers. I might fry up an egg to go with it. We'll see, but I will show it to you. So, I will be back. Okay, here it is, everyone. So, I have, sorry, I have a burger, then a fried egg, and a little bit of mayo on top. And this is going to be my first meal of the day, and it's already 1 o'clock. So, I am way behind on my eating schedule, but I'm just going to roll with it. So I'm gonna eat this, get back to you. We got more cooking to do. I wanna also hit sprouts. So yeah, let me just gobble this down and be right back. Okay, we have some baked chicken. It looks so good. Yum. So I am back from Sprouts. I did not get that much. I didn't need that much, but I just wanted to go to check it out. So here's what we have. Okay. Let's see if you can see this. It's spinach um, feta chicken sausage. Um, I got, here they are, two of... Lily's chocolate, some shredded chicken, macadamia nuts, um, okay, it is. more um, chicken sausage. 
and a bag of pretzels. These are not mine, but I did get a bag of pretzels there. So that was my little bitty haul for um, going to Sprouts. So I need to eat my last meal, but I'm not really hungry. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put in my tummy because it's 6 o'clock and I don't like to eat late. I'm already off my schedule. So I will be back um, to show you what I'm, my last meal is or even if I'm having a last meal. Check in a little bit. Okay, guys, I am back. So I do have my little chicken sausage right here. And I'm probably going to dip that in some mayonnaise. I'm going to be way under my calories, but I'm not going to really worry about it that, that much. So, um, just some few updates. I, I had to say I'm going to apologize again. I am so behind on everyone's YouTube channel. And it's not because I don't want to watch. I do. Um, some of you are doing the vloggers and some of you are just and putting out more than one a day and, and it's, I follow quite a few of you, to be honest, um, probably more than about 20 or more. So I've been having a hard time keeping up and yesterday was just a mess for me and, um, I didn't watch any videos. So cause between going to the doctor for my sciatic, Attica, and it is nerve pain, and the best they can do for me is give me some special exercises. Um, I have invested in a personal trainer, and I've got my workout plan. Y'all pray for me, because this is just going to kick my butt. Seriously, but I, I need it. I need it. I'm getting older and I can't keep going like this. I really need to, you know, for me, it's about getting healthy from the inside out. And I really want to build more muscle. Um, the older you get, the more muscle you need and the more bone density you need. So I'm going to buckle down and do it. Uh, you know, so I'll be showing you guys some of the exercises and bring you along with me on that journey. And also yesterday, my, I didn't really talk about it a lot, but my poor little doggy Gunner has been plagued with severe allergies. It's, I mean, bad. So yesterday I had to take him to the doctor and he had to get medication and shots and some antibiotics. So send him some good wishes. Um, so far, so good. It seems like the shot is helping. Thank you, Lord. Because it's, I mean, it's been bad. It's just been, he's been miserable, which made me miserable. So, uh, fingers crossed for that one. So, we're going to see how that goes. And also see about my, my, my exercise plan. I'm going to do my best when I finish uploading my video, getting it together to start watching some videos. And maybe set aside a few hours tomorrow to really dive in and get caught up on everyone's video, hopefully. Um, but I'm, it feels almost like I'm two weeks behind. I know I'm not two weeks behind, but it, that's what it feels like. So I'm going to do my best to get caught up with everyone because I am interested. Um, I follow you for a reason. And it's because you motivate me. Um, but I know it's just so many of you. And if I miss a few days of watching, it's like I'm so backlogged. So... But that is all I have to update you guys on. And I want to thank you for following me on my journey. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment below um, if there's something spe special you want to see. I know people did say they were okay with my um, clothing hauls. So when I get my next clothing haul, I will be doing that. Um, like I said, I will be sharing some of my exercise routines. So just look forward to a lot of that. Um, everything is smooth and going smoothly. I'm almost done with my three week challenge and that was very eye opening. Now, what I do want to say about that, I would challenge you guys to keep an open mind when it comes to food. Food should not be this thing that 
um, how do I say it? Overstimulate the mind. I guess that's the best way I can put it. It shouldn't be like orgasmic. Every time something hits your mouth, it got to be orgasmic and your body starts craving and these endorphins get to going. And like I said, I think I said this on my last video. I watch a guy. Um, his name is Remington James. And on one of his videos, he talked about that extensively. Because um, even I, when I was watching him, I'm like, oh my God, how do you just dump chicken in a crock pot and turn it on? And that's the end of it. And hardly no seasoning, no nothing. He said... Food is for fuel and his fueling his body, not for it don't always have to taste good and stimulate his brain. It, but it does have to be nutritious and you know and fuel the body. So I want to challenge you for for everyone that thinks, oh, I can't do without this. Oh, I gotta have this. Kind of think about that when you're saying that. Do you really have to have it? Are you kind of addicted to it? Are you telling yourself you need it? So just you know, my little tip is I'm not saying you have to be strict keto or anything. I'm just saying kind of just be aware of that. So with that said, I'm going to sign out and end this video. Thank you guys so much. And I will be back next week for another full day of eating. Mwah! Probiotics, but I start trying to cook and some coaches.